Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Today is currently 15th of October, and it is currently 10 to 2. Um, I thought I would just film for a couple of days. Oh god. My body is in so much pain from yesterday's workout in the gym that I didn't go this morning because, like, I, it, like, I'm just gonna point out that this isn't a real tattoo. I will probably vlog when I actually get the real one. So this, I'll show you guys like an actual. So this is a temporary tattoo I got from Etsy because this is the people on Etsy. It's Pixie Woo tattoo. And it's because I really wanted a butterfly on my arm, like where it is, because I love butterflies and like the meaning behind them and all. Um, so, I wanted to see what it looked like because obviously it's in a place that's visible and I didn't know whether I would really like it or whatnot. So I wanted to get this just to try it out. It was £4, so I mean, like, it's not really a big deal. Um, and I got it and I had it on for, like, a minute and I absolutely loved it. So I've actually emailed the tattoo shop in Lincoln to get it done um, before we go on lockdown so I can get it done before then. This is all I have for the next two days. I have tutor and then I have a class tomorrow from 11 till 1. Hi Nina. Hi. Well, I'll send you your when I open the door. Yeah, alright. Well, I need your advice. <laughs> Guess who's back again, sat in the same position as always. I've just been into town with Megan. It's now 4 o'clock just to get a few little bits that I needed. Um, tattoo wise, I've messaged three different places, got different price ranges, called my mom, my brother for advice. And I'm gonna go with like, the most expensive one because I know it's got the best reviews and stuff and it's something that's on my body for a lifetime. So I need it to be the best of the best and stuff. Like I don't just wanna go somewhere and it not be nice, but I do like absolutely love it. Um, so I definitely want it. Um, and then I got some shampoo when I needed some. I wanted Charles Worthington, but they didn't have that, so I got Lee Stafford because that's like the second best that I like. And then I got this top from Primark in the men's section. It was literally one pound. I love my big tees. And I thought, this is literally just yellow. A big tee. Tonight I'm actually having a flat takeaway, um, which is really nice. I say flat takeaway, there's five of us because one of our flat doesn't really cooperate with us. But yeah, the rest of us are going to be having a takeaway. Hello, we're sat back at the desk. My flatmate is still asleep. I don't want to wake her up or anything. But it is currently 20 past nine um, and it is Friday. Um, I'm up, I've literally just got up, um, so morning voice and all, um, and I am about to head to the gym. Aww. Hey guys. So I just got back from the gym, I just did my 30 minutes, um, 12, 3.30 workout because it's about 10 past 10 and obviously my lecture's at 11 so I wanted to be back and stuff but I'm going to wait to get a shower until after my lecture because I want to wash my hair but I want to like put my purple shampoo on it and tone it and stuff so that's going to take a bit of time so I just want to wait um, until later on so I have time to do that. I haven't had this lecture yet. This is obviously, in, this is an introduction, so I don't know what. This is, it's peer organizations and people, um, which kind of sounds like exactly like another module that I have. So I'm not too sure what this one entails and like what the difference is between both of them, apart from like the assignment. So I'm a bit curious about that. But yes, I'm gonna make it myself a green tea. So I made some oatmeal, which looks disgusting, and a green tea, and I'm gonna watch Friends. Yeah. Guys, are you ready to see the weather right now? <laughs> Look at this. What is going on? Oh, hello. 
so guys it's i'm still having the lecture right now like this is the situation like can we just but i don't think i've ever had such a bad lecture in my life um i don't understand what's going on um my lecturer is like mike keeps cutting out and like his audio isn't that good so i can't even understand him because like his voice just keeps going and then coming back and like what he's talking about doesn't even make sense so i don't even understand anything like and this is meant to be for two hours and i'm literally like <laughs> what the fuck um really annoying like i'm so tempted just to leave because and come back to it when it's like put online and i can just go through it myself and stuff because obviously they're recorded so i'm really tempted to just do that but right so i just left <laughs> the, the session I was in the kitchen seeing Taylor, but um, I've just left the group. I've just left it because it's just, I, it's just useless. Um, so I want to go back through it when it's finished and just go through the lectures myself without them talking. This sometimes happens though with uni. Like you just, especially when it's over online, like it's just you have technical issues and stuff and it's just very frustrating but like that's the most anyone can do like this is all we can do um so it's not their fault it's not our fault like it's no one's fault it's just <laughs> coronavirus but yeah um i've just left because it was frustrating me so much so and i'm just gonna it's not like i'm doing anything um like i'm not doing anything from it so i'm just gonna read the lecture and look at the recorded it look at the recording look at the recording when it's finished whenever that this is my fun Friday morning. Hopefully this will get better because we actually have this lecture in person next week. So it'll be a lot better, but obviously right now it's not the best. Hello, who's this new bitch? Um, <laughs> so I've got the purple shampoo on my hair. Mostly on my roots because, well, I'm gonna say mostly on my roots. My full hair is purple, but. I've wanted it for my roots just because I do have a little bit of orange still there so I want it to kind of tone that bit out but obviously I don't know what I mean by but obviously but yeah my hair is currently purple um I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and then wash it off and yeah Morning. <laughs> so it's so early right now. Um, for me anyway, it's currently ten to nine in the morning, and I'm up because I'm actually going for a COVID test this morning. Um, me and my two flatmates are all off to the site centre um, that's been built for students in Lincoln. Um, for a test. Nice little turnaround to the weekend. Um, just because I don't know whether I've been having symptoms. Like I've been feeling really warm and headaches and things. And I don't know whether that's just because I'm stressed and like a sore throat and stuff or because I have corona. So um, we're all going for a test. <sighs> just to make sure everything's okay and everything because obviously uni's next week and everything but obviously I'm going for this test which I am allowed to do I've checked and everything um and then I'm coming back and that'll be self-isolating obviously in my flat until I get the results back I won't be going out anywhere hey guys so it's a bit later now it's 20 past 10 um, we got back like 20 minutes ago maybe 
um, I couldn't film in the test center or anything because like you're not allowed any photography or anything so I didn't want to do that and then like told off <laughs> um, so I didn't actually film in there but it was actually really the people the staff and everything was so nice that were working there like we were like some of the first ones in this test center in Lincoln for students and they were lovely like really really nice people it wasn't busy at all but yeah um it was fine like doing the tests and everything because they, they were really helpful and stuff if you needed if you needed any help you could just ask them and they were lovely oh and it was maybe like 10 minutes and then i was in and then i was out like 10 to 15 minutes because there was no queue or anything like and um, it wasn't busy at all which was really nice um but yeah and then we came back um, I just made a hot chocolate and I'm in bed because obviously I'm staying in my room now um, until I get my test results back <laughs> but we actually have a food delivery coming at some point today but my accommodation are bringing it up for us so I just need to bring them when it arrives so they can bring it up to our flat. I mean Megan obviously ordered food, um, food delivery because obviously we didn't want to go out into a shop while we're waiting for our results. Who knew at the start of this vlog? that I would be self-isolating. It's now one o'clock. <laughs> Let me show you. And I've been in bed for the past three hours, is it? Two hours, three hours, I don't know. Um, I've literally just been watching The Crown, which I'm quickly obsessed with, but I'm trying to watch it before the season four comes out, because I know all of my flatmates will watch it and I need to be up to date before they watch it which so that's my current watch list i'm currently on episode, season one episode eight i've literally just been laid in bed watching it but my food delivery should well mine and megan's food delivery should be arriving soon they said it should come between quarter to one and 25 past one so i'm just waiting for that phone call and then I have to ring reception to get them to bring it up for me. I'm videoing you. Hi, Megan. It's my YouTube channel to show how I'm self-isolating. This is what's... What are we? Five hours in? <laughs> Uh, I've just been asleep for two hours. It's now like twenty past six. Sunday. It's actually a bit late. It's quarter to two right now. I woke up about half twelve because I didn't get to bed till late last night. Um, I got really chills. Oh. My skin is so bad right now. I don't know what's going on with it. It's really bad. And I've also I don't know whether it's eczema, but I have so many little bumps on my fingers. 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 Um. And like it's now on my hands and stuff i i don't know what's going on so as soon as i get my results back from the corona for the coronavirus test i am gonna book a doctor's appointment um to try and sort this out because like this is it's been i've had them for like four weeks and they just seem to be getting worse so i need to sort them out i think it might be eczema but i need something to like help it because it's just getting really bad so yeah <laughs> um but today is Sunday. I've just I've had a shower this morning. Um, like made my made my bed and everything. But I now have a lot of work to do today for next week. So this is like my list of work. This is everything written down that I have to do today. It's way too much, but um yeah, this is what is today. Is that that's due tomorrow, so I need to do that and then them ones as well. Um, I also actually need to add in something. I 
needed to add that in. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do this work and stuff, but I then edit, oh my God. All I'm gonna be doing today is, I need to really sort out this stuff on my finger, it's really itchy. Um, all I'm doing today is this work, so I, I'm not gonna vlog anything because it's literally just me working all day um, and then probably just chilling. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, make sure to subscribe, like, comment if you want. Um, yeah, <laughs> this vlog turned into a much longer vlog than I thought. I was just going to literally vlog for like a day or two and it's now a four day vlog, but it's okay. Um, yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope everyone is safe and healthy, especially if you're students out there because it's very difficult right now for <laughs> students. Um, and everyone else but students, I think, have just been put in the back of how difficult it is for them, and it is. So if you are a student, let me know, comment down below what it's like right now for you.